about stocks and dividends and things like that. Um, those kinds of things are very important. Uh, and, and I think of those more of the smaller issues. That I'm going to talk to you more about the bigger issues. Things like, in order to invest, you have to spend less than you make. Uh, you need to start early with investing. With investing, you need to diversify. You need to trade infrequently. And then lastly, you need to avoid debt. So the first one, saving. If, if you don't, if you spend everything you make, there's nothing left. There's no reason to even study investing in stocks. A good metric is 10 to 20 percent. So if you make $100, you save $10, $20. If someone gives you $100, you save $10 or $20. You make this a habit, and as you get older, you will have a you'll have wealth to 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 provide for you in times of need. And then think about upgrading your portfolio. Lots of times when people get raises, when they get some extra money, they think about upgrading their wardrobe or upgrading um, their uh, their house. Uh, upgrade your portfolio. Put more money in your portfolio. Start early. So compounding is, is powerful. Uh, money doubles about every 7 to 10 years. Money invested in the stock market doubles every 7 to 10 years. So um, that means that your $1,000 investment in seven years could be worth two thousand dollars in seven more years your one thousand dollar investment is now worth four thousand dollars in seven more years which is about twenty years your one thousand dollar investment is now worth eight thousand uh, dollars so it's growing exponentially and it's very powerful and it's one of the reasons why you need to start investing when you're twenty or twenty five versus waiting until you're fifty or sixty so again, about every seven to ten years, your money will double, will compound. Uh, how many investment doubles can you hit in your lifetime? Start early, you'll hit a lot of doubles. Uh, third, diversify your portfolio. Good things to invest in, stocks, bonds, real estate. They all produce income for you. You can, you can invest in a stock. You can keep it for 50 years and it will provide dividends and income for you. Same thing with bonds, same thing with real estate. Cryptocurrencies are hot, but I would, uh, I would caution against those. You, you invest in a cryptocurrency and you hold it for 50 years, it doesn't produce anything for you. It doesn't really have any value. Um, you're just hoping that at the end of 50 years, somebody will pay you more for that cryptocurrency than, than you paid for it. Fourth, trade infrequently. Warren Buffett's favorite holding period, uh, he will say it's forever. And this changes your, your um, approach to investing. If you think about investing in a company, lots of people think, well, it's a good company, it's hot, you know, I'll sell it in a few years or a few months or whatever. Think about your investment as a 20, 30, 40 year investment. It'll, it'll cause you to look at investing a little bit differently. You'll want to see companies that you believe still have products that will be around in 40 or 50 years. Buy portfolios, not individual stocks. So mutual funds are something that you'd want to look into. Exchange-traded funds, these allow you to buy portfolios of, of companies, not just one company. Debt is the anti-investment. Um, you can see this picture here, this man being weighed down by debt. Uh, how do you create debt? Well, there's, there's, um, oftentimes people create debt because they uh, want to spend more than they make, and what that means is in the future they have to pay back that overspending, and they also have to pay interest on that overspending. So it starts consuming the interest, starts consuming their income. Uh, so this happens when you live beyond your means. Learn how to live below your means, and you can create wealth. Uh, know that debt works against you. There is some good debt. Investing in a house is a good use of debt. Investing in yourself through education is a good use of debt. Bad debt, the worst debt, is credit cards. 
you, you want to avoid carrying balances on credit cards. Okay, I wish you success in this program and I wish you success creating wealth throughout your life. Thank you.